Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to test your brake light switch on any car guys. Okay, we'll be demonstrating on Mazda, but it will be the same for any car. Now, if your brake light switch doesn't work guys, first what will happen? Okay, your brakes will not work, right? But the brake light switch sometimes can uh, consist of two independent switches inside. Okay, one of them is for the cruise control. Okay, and that switch guys, if it doesn't work, your cruise control will not work. Also guys, you may notice uh, ABS, brake lights, traction control lights because it's part of the uh, traction control system and the safety ABS system. So stay with us, we'll show you how we're going to do that and we can test it without even removing it. That way you will know for sure if yours is good, it's bad and uh, whether you need to buy one and uh, maybe you don't need to buy one and don't need to waste your money. So make sure uh, you stay until the end, we'll share uh, how we're going to test it. In addition guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below, let us know if it was helpful. Let's start on it now. So this is guys the car that we'll be demonstrating on. Okay, let me explain to you now guys, okay, where the brake light switch is usually located. Most of the times guys, okay, will be located, okay, you can see this is your brake panel, brake panel right there, and you might have one cover guys, and under that cover, okay, this is your brake light switch, okay, right here, this is it guys. Now, you can see how complicated this one is, it has cables going through it for the cruise control, quite a few things guys, so, uh, it's not as simple as you would think. So, stay with us guys, and we'll explain now, okay, what needs to be done to test that guy. So, I'll get inside, okay, and we're going to turn, okay, the key on, the ignition on. So, with the ignition being on, guys, okay, the scanner that we'll be using, okay, it's this scanner right here. So, let me just uh, restart it and start from the very beginning and I'll show you what, what it can do. That scanner works on any car, not just Mazda. Uh, you can, guys, do so much with it. You can find a link to that scanner listed in the description of the video below for your, con for your convenience, guys. So... Excuse me, we have, you can read uh, codes guys from the engine computer, you can do quite a few things there. You can read, delete codes from the uh, traction control system, ABS, brake system and airbag system, you can register batteries, you can do so many things guys, you can register steering angle sensor, TPMS, really really good computer for the price guys, it's amazing, it can pay itself off in one time use. So we'll click ABS and SRS. And now we'll select Asian because this is Mazda. And we'll go down until we find Mazda. Okay, right here. And we're just going to connect now. It will ask us guys, okay, a few different questions now. Okay, one is automatic selection. Okay, if we click this one, it will read the, read the VIN number. Okay, and it will decode everything on its own. And tell us guys, okay, tell us uh, which car we have. So... It may ask you a few questions if you have the smart key or if you have the uh, tire pressure monitor. Okay, we do have that one. And okay, that's all the information that it gave us about this Mazda. So now we'll click yes. We'll select control unit and we'll select ABS anti lock brake right here. Once we guys select that one now, okay, it's going to take a little bit of time to load. When you're guys diagnosing your ABS traction control module, you may notice guys on the dash of your vehicle lights flickering, ABS, brake, traction control light. This is normal. Why? Because the computer is communicating with the traction control computer. Okay, and it's telling us that uh, actually it's active now. So we're almost done. Okay, you can see it's close to 90% now. And you'll see what options we have now. Okay, here we, we're going to go through uh, live data, click live data, now under live data guys, okay, it's going to see what sensors we have and all that stuff, and it will give us a list that we can select just certain items, or we can just click select all, view data. Now, let me show you now guys, okay, the third one in our case, in yours might be different guys, it says brake on and off okay and this is the status right here okay in our case it says off this is for the brake light switch so if i press the brake guys check it out it's not going to change so what i'll do okay i'll go ahead start the car 
Okay, I have the car started now. Even. Nothing, guys. So, let me explain you guys how we'll be fixing that. We'll remove the brake light switch, we'll replace it and see if that takes care of our problem and demonstrate how the working one will change from, on to, uh, from off to on and we'll know that it's working. So, let me show you now, guys. Okay, we're going to go ahead and restart the car now. Okay. And we're going to click OK to reset because uh, the ignition was off. We'll select all and we'll go back, reconnect. Okay, and now guys, okay, right here, okay, you can see that we have, okay, it says brake off, right? Check it out when I press on it now. It says brake on, that's the new switch, guys. With the new switch, everything works like it should. And we don't have the brake and ABS light anymore right here. So that definitely took care of our problem, guys. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.